bottle up when he has to use his breathe fire. Which is right now again. Underneath the tower, bottom lane, Pasha in trouble, trying to get away, the Soul Assumption, he's going to get the Weaver Bug off him, the Swarm, it does do damage, and I don't know if he's going to kill it in time, he doesn't! He'll die on the cliffside, Moogie was circling around him as the Weaver. So the first offlane kill, VP were attempting to get KP down a while ago, is so good on the safe lane, he's missed a consistency all the time, except... Normally he's able to find a kill, and you're like, okay, how the hell do you oh, even man, this achieve scary right that? Now. That's Amazing. a lot of heroes. SC, yeah, four heroes right on top of him. The shields won't protect him anymore until maybe a little bit of extra help. Kaka creates space. Moogie diving over to kill off the IO, taking away that regeneration. Pasha and no one focusing in to Kaka underneath the tower. Moogie's not done just yet, however. Chasing Solo into the Radiant Jungle. He's got a decent run to go, but luckily Shikuchi, high, high movement speed, and Solo cannot escape from that. Maybe in the trees. No, not gonna happen. That would be Moogie. the dude of the century if he got out without boots there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Absolutely nothing. So that was a two for two. Um, I believe, right? Or was it only a two for... No, uh, it, was it, was, two for two. it was two for two. two it for was two. Aya Disruptor for Medusa and Nyx. Yeah, so it sounds good on paper for Virtus Pro, but they did use a dragon form that didn't really do any tower damage. So. And they're gonna lose more as well. Solo's getting ganked up. KP as well as Kaka teaming up together. Wasn't the cleanest kill. Kaka missed his impale. And Ramses will maybe punish this in time. Yeah, with Pasha here, he definitely will. Nice ward placement there just in the end by Nyx though. I don't think VP would have realized that he got that ward out just before he died. They're rotating. Nubia gonna try and gank up on the top lane. Smoke maneuver. Kaka and Moogie together. KP has the Dream Coil, which is probably going to make this work. Ramses has no Phantasm. He burnt it before, and with the Orb bump, well, it won't be able to connect. KP will get the follow-up silence, and the stun! It connected onto the Dragonite as well, but Lil arrives in time, connects himself up with Ramses, giving the much-needed heal and recovery. KP can't even get out. The glimpse is perfect from Solo. Oh, he's going to get a kill. Wow. Okay, moment. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> misclick. <laughs> I don't know if that's a misclick. I'm sorry, Lil, I didn't mean to kill you. But Ramsey gets the revenge and Puck goes down underneath the towel. If that was an NA pub, that was not a mistake. <laughs> that's for sure. That's like, who, by the way, is going for a very good build in this game. So uh, there's been this arising trend. Wait a second, we should look at top now, Ramsey's. Yeah, Dream called up. Gonna try and Phantasm his way out of it. The Scarab Swarm's gonna be able to connect. So does the stun on to Kaka and the crit from Ramsey's. I think Kaka was ready for that much damage on him. KP doing his TP out. Pasha, oh, he started the lasso, but it did not connect. KP barely making it out by the skin of his teeth. Same type of play that we're seeing over and over here, and I think VP are, are tired of it. Now they want to make their own. If they find SC here, that would be a really big kill. Yeah, so they're actually surrounding him. him. Pasha, they do actually have a little bit of an early warning system. Was Pasha running in underneath Kaka's Vendetta? And Pasha, well, he wants to go for more, but right now he's stoned. SC and Kaka can just beat the crap out of him and get a kill. That was meant to go the other way. They do still, however, pick up KP. VP looking to keep the pressure on. SC underneath his own shrine has already been burnt. Kaka, he's got another stun available. Can actually hit three, potentially four. Solo on the back lines, dying to the swarm. And Mugi, he's now going to join the fray. Lil into the tree lines. The tower's going to be killing him off. Faith, now he's the one under pressure. A two-second stun is long enough to kill him down. And no one, the pressure from Mugi turns his attention towards ZK on the run, but two very, very tanky heroes. They'll need another stun, another control, and they don't have it in range. The newbie break off the fight. Like, he's got the Blink Dagger available, and now just found a haste rune in the bottom river. This is a good way to move forward, but there's also a massive smoked army The Pasha just kept running into. At that kind of speed, he couldn't pull out in time. It was this Observer were down here at the river that saw Pasha pick up the haste, and now it's just an instant goal call from Newbie, bringing their invisible heroes that he can't. Yep. Newbie, just perfect rotations. Turn it on his head. No one's going to show himself on bottom lane, and... That's enough for Moogie to initiate. He's got the support from Kaka, so no one already been beetled up. Uh, that's, that's a nice way to here. slow him down. Yep, Diffuser Blade charge from Weaver. No one out of mana in the relocate. Double stun from Kaka. Ayo gets picked off instantly into the familiar drops. Ramses will die as well. It started off as a gank on no one. The Virtus Pro brought more meat to the table. Maybe they have another fight, Pasha. In he jumps. He oh. was looking for the lasso. Couldn't get it on KP. Spike Carapace. 
the oldest counter in the book to the Bat Rider, and what was meant to be one kill turned to two, turned to three, and is now four heroes down for Virtus Pro. They got outplayed really hard there. That's 4,000 in the experience and almost the same in the net worth advantage shift. Because Virtus Pro were holding a slight lead at the beginning. Oh, mid laner thinking about it. Yeah, but what have you got? You're going to glimpse him back into the wall. Turns on that Aghanim stone case. And well, two seconds on the stun. Plus the last so They just combined it all up. A familiar drops. Holding Ramsey's in position. Let oh, the snake nice bounce illness. around. Petrifying everybody. SC, he's running low on mana. He will go down. They get the kill and no one. Keeping Kaka in control. The spike Carapace turn around. At least you'll get that stun back. As Batrider got picked, Moogie. They're retreating towards the shrine. It's already been triggered, so that won't help them. But KP's double dream coil. That'll do the work with the familiar drops. So much control from Faith and KP. Lil cannot stand up against this. And another double stun. Kaka in the trees. Runs it with a vendetta. He just wants to one hit down range, but gets hit by the breathe fire of no one. Loses too much life. Moogie's just trying to be a man, but Moogie more of a man. Ultra kill up, and he would love it. He'll take it. It's going to be solo. And along with it, the rampage. Of newbie. 13 0 on this Weaver right now. Moogie is having an incredible game. Roshan to boot, they can't get in here in time. This this is gone. Yeah. If they had still had the Firefly up from Pasha, maybe they could give it a shot, but uh, Pasha burnt it and then just threw the flame break. The kinetic field? This maybe is, that's the idea? This is so good for newbie. They smoke up that observer what inside the dire jungle sees so much. Lil and Ramsey's. And they've worked out that something's going on, but Lil trapped by himself. The damage is so high from Moogie. Uh, finish the job. Yep, they <laughs> finished the job. Good sticks. Almost almost got out of there. And now Nubi with no eye on the field for 28 seconds. They're going to go high ground. But they also saw the fact that DK was burning his dragon form to farm up some ancients. But you need to consider what options they have to get out on the map. Like, the map is very scary. They're playing against Nyx Assassin. You get out the vision you can to protect yourself. Like you said, that triangle area, they want to at least cover that so they can farm. So they've warded for that. He, they could have waited for his butterfly, but I think they just feel like, you know what, if we do that, we won't have enough time on our Aegis. So rather just going to go and start hitting this tower. No one's already using the shrine. Uh, he needs mana for the fight. Here goes your first attack. It's Rams. He's attacking in. Uh, still has his Phantasm. Going to commit it out as well. But the Stone Gaze already the Mystic Snake did its work. Disrupt the died instantly. They were hoping to wrap around the back. But the stuns are just way too good here from Newbie. No one will stand its ground and at least pick off a bug. But that is all they're going to get from this fight. A buyback from the Dragon Knight. Does not have Dragon Form. BKB all me on your effect. And SC is still as strong as he was when this fight began. Has the Agassi Mortal, three familiars dropping down. DK can be silenced up. If this is a dieback, you may as well call the GG because there's no way Nubia leaving your base. In fact, that's exactly what happens. Virtus Pro are just stunned and outclassed by Nubi here in game one. Get a lot of uh, CS in lane just because of how good his base damage is, plus Feral Impulse, plus Quelling Blade. Like right now, Ramsey's attacks deal 100 damage each on creeps. It's very difficult to contest. All right. Uh, nice. That's surprising. Ogre just found Sanking, and Solo went for the 110 build. He's probably going to start maxing Ignite now, or um, Bloodless, pardon me. Oh, 25 damage! <laughs> what am I going to do with my 7 base regen? <laughs> He's actually almost out healing the attacks of Drowl. They're rotating up. Ah, he goes just done. Ignite as well. You got the breathe fire. Moogie's got a couple of one shots up his sleeve in faith. Grave Chill needs to create space but cannot do enough of it as she puts himself in harm's way with no cloak to protect him. Faith will go down under the tower in Virtus Pro. And now 3-0 on the board after 3-2-2. And that's what... That's what the IO Ogre can do. This is that exact play where... Like, Kaka was attacking into the bottom lane. It's when KP gets up in Ramsey's face. No, when this happens, did, you just get dove in the jungle as well. That's oh, what happens. Boy. Here they, they go. They need mana. They need mana for Ogre. He doesn't have a stun available. Ogre! Ogre could also move over to the shrine, but now that no one's blinked forward, he's got three points up in screen, but they don't even need it. Underneath the tower, they'll find the kill. Dro will now have her second death. God, I love this hero so much. I miss playing Ogre. They're switching lanes. Yeah. KP's gonna TP up to the top. He's finished up strength treads. Oh, miss death profit. It's gonna and uh, running out can of. then go top. He's actually his base damage is 77. That ain't, that ain't too shabby. No wonder he's having some good last hitting. Up. Oh. Faith tried to 
Get into this jungle. Oh, oh here comes but the pump, SC, the damage. Does he have enough to kill off Lil Kaka? He can't reach it for the bar strike, but the Dream Coil is what gets the kill onto Lil. And Solo trapped up. Pasha moves over. Dragon Tail Sun onto the puck. He's got 9 1 charges plus the orb. The orb will move in towards the front lines. Caustic Finale should be able to pop on Solo as he moves towards the tier 1 tower. Kaka, bar strike. He could use it to ensure the kill. Uh, the attack from the tower is on Nuff. Solo does not have a TP scroll, so they're letting SC take that into the tree. And into the tree. There we go. Into the trees and found him. He'll take the ignite. He'll take the damage. But SC will get the kill solo. Oh, this hero. And he ends a dominating streak. He got 320 gold for a kill on a support ogre. Like with a 1 1 2. He doesn't have that much presence. And with the puck rotating around trying to help out, they actually move KP now into the mid lane. We're. <laughs> You, you have oh, game in of, trouble now. You have that game of musical chairs where everyone looks like they're in the correct lane. Death Prophet, now Spirit Siphon, trouble, maybe not. Maybe with a Sonic Wave, KP still surviving through this because of the one shiners. He makes a break for the tree line, but no one. The Shadow Strike was still on him. Solo wants to escape. Faith comes up through the rear. You can stun him all you want, but SC now with the double kill, making it four in total for him, and takes the haste rune. And 8 minutes is actually, you know, it's Ramses who has it. Chasing SC, he'll have to get himself in range of the Shrine for the heal. Ramses can stick around for the damage, but he decides not to. Happy the to Shrine burns. The shrine. Yeah. It's, they're thinking twice, like... Oh. Io is not in range. Io is currently farming and waiting for the 10 minute rune. And maybe that's the other thing they waited for, is the fact that Io wants to go back for the rune. Pasha adds the pressure, Death Prop is TPing in, and they're thinking Io is in range, or else they wouldn't have brought KP in. They didn't need him for this fight, or maybe they did. Pasha will fall. KP gets the kill. Yeah, they actually needed him. I think that TP play would have worked. I don't want to say they're playing mirror matchups, but they're playing, like, which is very difficult when you start with offlane DK as well as offlane Death Prophet. But top uh, lane, speaking to of DP. Yeah, that's uh, a very, very dead Relocate. hero. Oh, then again, relocate in. KP Spirit Siphon gives her a lot to fight with. The Dream Coil, as well as the Orb Attack. KP almost killing off Solo. SC will do it himself, but he came in too close for it. The Sonic Wave killing him while he was stunned up. There was 16 one charges that SC wanted to trigger, but he was waiting until the last moment and loses his life for it. Oh, they're going to go for Pasha here. Birds and Sand King. Oh, in through the rear. Oh, get the stun Sand off. King, where are these birds drops? They're waiting for it. They're keeping the damage going so they can turn their attention into the three chain stun. First, Barra Strike. Second is the stomp down. No one. He's actually got the life to survive this. 11 one charges and will escape. That 10 strength talent as well helps out a lot. That could have been a very different fight if that would have connected, unless I misread that, but I'm pretty sure he just silenced absolutely nothing. Sometimes those mistakes can be costly mid lane. Really? Yep, Spirit Siphon KP's gonna get it off right now. Kaka looking for the double bar strike. You can see a Solo as well as Pasha trying to dodge it. Sentry Wars down, so Kaka very, very visible. They'll take another two kills here, Virtus Pro. Oh, Lycan using Shapeshift. They wanna dive. Yeah, they're coming in for the back line. Moogie is around the corner, so is SC. Ramses, that's a lot of damage. The Dream Coal will hold him there. Faith needs more life, does not have it. And the arrows, ah, they're not doing enough work. And in fact, if they can run in closer, SC and Moogie under the tier 2 tower, why run when you can blink? You do get silenced and locked in for in position. Moogie will fall. Puck already joined herself away to safety. That's a VP dive right there. That's a VP. That was effective, but they're not they're not like letting them go. Kaka, he actually TP'd himself in to the shrine so they can try and catch off at least Lil, which they will be able to claim into the hands of SC. I tried to relocate out as well. That's pretty big. That's a hundred second cooldown and so this is a good uh, a good spike for a newbie to try to use now that they have these items. I think if they just tr slow this down and just farm, they're gonna get picked off and, and eventually lose. Oh, the wolves are on SCC's tail. He can't blink. He has to jaunt this orb. And this is bringing him closer towards the tier two tower, I running away from Ramses as he have the time. Phase shift now. He blink did. will come off cooldown. Oh. He's got his TP scroll available too. Another quick orb, but the Yule Scepter is the orb gonna last long enough. DK was already there waiting for him. And Puck needs a way out. Phase shift once more. And now blink, but he's burning still. SC will go down. Kaka adding pressure to the T2 tower on top lane. Actually fakes the blink up and goes down to the tower. Uh, maybe they're thinking it is going to be Roshan. That's oh, where Lycan is at the moment. I think this is some next level stuff from VP. They wanted them to see that smoke. 
so that they're scared and standing back and then VP want to Roche, but Newbie aren't taking this bait. Yeah, and Solo is de warding the Observer Ward. They okay, understand they what's going on. This has to be the perfect epicenter from Karka. They have to get the timing right. There goes your orb. The Burra strikes on the Queen of Pain plus the Gust. Quap will die. No, she won't. Defensive Yulsa to Ramsey says the egg is the immortal. Dream Call is nice. Puck takes a stun. And uh, Quap takes a stun, but she's still alive for the moment on the back lines. SC so low. The Wolf of Ramsey's was finding that kill. A double kill across the board from both sides. VP retreat back to their shrine to trigger it. They keep the Aegis the Immortal. And they felt like Quap could take enough damage and still survive, and that was the perfect read. She almost didn't. Like, if that wasn't a level 1 silence from the Death Prophet, she wouldn't have survived. She wouldn't have been able, wouldn't have been able to blink out in time. Oh, Epicenter. Yep, Kaka lets it rip all over Solo with the orb damage and soul assumption. Faith will take the kill. And Ramsey's, he's looking for something else. The Wolves, they are looking everywhere. Ramsey's is having a fantastic game here. And with familiar drops, no. He's holding on to them. Oh, now they're going to the drop. Birds as well, if they want. Looks they like will. they do. That's easy money. Even Dragon Tail something. They commit oh, to one. Relocate top. Uh, Dro Ranger. They have the TV. Yules. Won't happen in time. As you said, the Yule Scepter is up and Moogie. 13 one charges, potentially can make a break for the tree line. It's gonna use it, but it's already dead. And they're out before Kaka can arrive. And now like it's gonna use the shapeshift running at SC. SC does not have a TP on him, it's in the backpack. He has to all jump oh. out, he's on the cliff. This is actually a pretty good position for him right now. Ramses needs to be careful here. If he goes in now on this wave, yeah, he the, can get killed. The Aegis will be gone. It's expiring now. Let's see if VP, oh, they don't care. Back. Yeah, well, Pasha's coming to dragon form. Here comes Kaka with the epicenter, the damage into the Dragon Knight. Lil trying to actually repair him, but he cannot do enough in time. In fact, getting caught by the Dream Call into the Soul Assumption. And Virtus Pro, maybe you should have had a care in this world. Lycan has to shapeshift to run away. Puck's trying to catch up to him in time. It's too far to go. But three heroes lost, two supports and a DK. That's they really. smoke before the Puck and the Dro Ranger are ready, but yeah, this Roshan dies so quickly. Familiars can't get in, and Pasha actually farms both of them on the way out of the pit. VP have access to the jungle. Well, so, that. so if if newbie are just standing here, they're losing a full triangle every minute, which is about what's that? Like 600 gold, 500 gold? Oh, the silence on Puck. Has the Yule Scepter up. Now, maybe baited in. Pasha, too far on the front lines. The Barra Strike is there. Moogie just letting the, uh, the fire rip. The Sonic Wave, massively ineffective. And look at the bounces. This Dro Ranger, they have to stop it from doing the damage. But the Familiars are holding him in position. Death Prophet was merely a distraction. But Ramsey's now inside the base. Cannot kill off Kaka. Doesn't have the vision for it. The Silence of the Queen of Pain. It's the Gust from Moogie. It's enough control. And Io came in to help. But all Io ends up doing is dying as well. VP tried to force the issue. The Aegis Immortal will allow Ramsey to TP away to safety. Pasha, maybe not so lucky, blinks up in two seconds time. SC, does he find him? He guesses the wrong side of the trees. Checks the lane instead. And he will not find the DK. Or like, the Lycan who are home. Right, like this is a change where they were starting to lose control and then they got their, their side of the map back. Drow was farming the triangle, Sand King is pushing bottom, and the rest of the heroes are moving together. So they got efficiency back. Now this is important. Yeah, SK's gonna come back. The double stuns from the familiars inside the pit. The Necrobooks are down. SC with a two-man coil. Epicenter. The Dragonite is dropping down low. Fresh familiars up on the up on the fight. But then again, the damage is way too much. They're right on top of Faith, but Moogie, no one is near him. KP surviving with their spirit siphon. Where is your damage? The Yule will take the the Dro Ranger up, KP has finally fallen down, the bash from Ramsey's, it catches the Dro, no buyback for her, buyback is available for the Visage as well, but Ramsey's is just cleaning up Newbie, the one fight, the big fight they had outside their base, and oh, it goes so well. Snipe. Oh, Pasha, SC's doing the work. That it's not done yet. Oh, uh, they're going to get it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Roshan is done. He would like to get an extra pick up, but without the Dagon, it ain't happening. TP away. Getting that Dragon Knight kill for SC was very important. There's the SK buyback. SC's just trying to get rid of the creep wave, but Ramsey's does so much damage. They'll burn the fortification. Barra Strike in. Kaka hiding in Viz for the moment. You still got that Gem of True Sight in the safe hands of the puck, but you've just had a dieback on SK. Interesting. They, that seemed like newbie weren't on the same page whether to buyback or not. I think they just lost the game. This is going to be probably mega. Sankin can't respawn now. Don't have the damage output to actually repel Virtus Pro. Uh, they could go for Megas here. 13 seconds. No one can die. 
If Newbie lose one hero here, then maybe it is going to be Megas, but eight seconds until Dro Ranger is up. KP does not have his exorcism. Looks towards no one. This is more of intimidation to push no one away. Same with Ramsey's SC. Jumps in for the double silence. Lycan into the wall fall. But here comes Moogie. Oh, that damage is still not enough. It's KP who falls down. Moogie needs to get back into safety. He cannot afford to die now. There's no buyback on him. This could be the game right now. There isn't enough firepower in Newbie's arsenal to repel Virtus Pro. Maybe when no one commits so heavily in SC. Gonna commit his dream call, but Queen of Pain happy to stand here. KP will fall and that really is the game. There's so many players from VP here. They have Megas up and no one from Newbie that can really stop them from taking the rest of the base. That escalated very quickly. Yeah, this is probably what VP were hoping to be able to accomplish on their previous pushes, but this time it was set up way better. The fight happened outside of the base. They managed to drag Newbie out to the Roche pit, force the fight to happen there. They had great positioning, good, good teamwork again. The Dragonite got jumped on there.